This video was made possible by Mzizi International, the official African diaspora clothing brand. Visit mzizishop.com for more information. Despite the widespread condemnation of colonization, including apologies from heads of state, it's astonishing that there are individuals who advocate revisiting colonization in African and Latin American countries. Eric Prince, a former U.S. Navy officer, has said that African and Latin nations should be recolonized due to the perceived corruption and self-interest of their leaders. Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channels and ringing the bell to be notified about all our exciting future videos. Eric Prince, a former officer in the U.S. Navy and the founder of the American private military company Blackwater, has stated that African countries should be recolonized because of the perceived corruption and selfishness of their leaders. Prince expressed this stance in a short video clip shared on Africa Facts Zone by proposing that if African nations face challenges in self-governance, it may be appropriate for them to undergo a new form of invasion. In the video, Prince expressed his conviction that Africans encounter difficulties in self-governance due to leaders prioritizing personal gains over the well-being of their citizens. He argued that if ineffective leadership persists, it is justified to reintroduce foreign governance, stating it is time for us to just put the imperial hat back on to say we are going to govern those countries if you are incapable of governing yourself because enough is enough. When asked if he was endorsing colonialism, Prince confirmed, absolutely, yes. Then it's time for us to just put to just to, to put the imperial hat back on to say, we're going to govern those countries if you're incapable of governing yourselves because enough is enough, we're done being invaded. Because our own national security risk is at stake. Exactly. National security interests are at stake. You can say that about pretty much all of Africa. They're incapable of governing themselves and benefiting their citizens because the governments there are all about looting and pillaging and lining their pockets and going shopping in Paris instead of actually right, hold making on a second. country hold a on. better People better on the land. left are going to watch this. They're going to say, wait a minute, Eric Prince is talking about being a colonialist again. Absolutely. Yes. In essence, Eric Prince is suggesting that African leaders are excessively corrupt to the extent that the only viable solution is to regain control over African countries. He further remarked that he believed this idea was suitable not only for Africa, but also for Latin America. During the 19th and 20th centuries, European powers like Britain, France, Spain, Portugal, and others colonized African territories in a period known as the Scramble for Africa. In 1960, the United Nations General Assembly adopted Resolution 1514, also called the Declaration on Decolonization. This declaration stressed the UN's support for independence movements in trust and non-self-governing territories, advocating for the rapid and unconditional cessation of colonialism in all its forms and reaffirming the right of all peoples to self-determination. While it is acknowledged that corruption exists in numerous African nations, proposing colonization as the sole remedy for African leadership issues is unprecedented. Colonization encompassed not only the governance by European powers, but also the plundering of resources, significant loss and devastation of lives, and enduring psychological effects on Africans. Additionally, colonization contributed to environmental degradation, the proliferation of diseases, economic instability, ethnic conflicts, and human rights abuses, problems that can persist long after the end of colonial rule. Similar to past advocates of imperialism, Prince appears oblivious to his own motives and their inevitable consequences. He justifies his idea by asserting that countries suffering under corrupt governments deserve better. However, throughout history, such beneficence has consistently resulted in widespread death and suffering. What are your thoughts on Prince's remarks? Do you agree with him that recolonization is the answer for Africa? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the new Africa channel for more exciting future videos.